we were going through all the different steps for checking to see if a blade is straight. And uh, we were looking at it with the uh, spine of the blade up, with the tip towards you, and then the edge up, tip towards you. And the reason why we're doing it to tip towards me is because if you look at a blade like this, like, a, like, is, like you commonly see people do, the fundamental problem here is that what my eye can see from here is from the end of the handle to this, this point right here. You know what that means? That means that the rest of the blade was out of my view. And that's why we always do it point towards us. And then with the edge up. Then we look at it with the blade horizontal and with the edge towards our eyes. And you can close one eye or leave both eyes open. You can see it pretty much the same way. What we're looking for here is to see if the blade's twisted like a propeller or not. Now, unfortunately, a twist in the blade isn't easily remedied in your home kitchen. You can, uh, you can <coughs> fix a bent blade fairly easily, but a uh, twisted blade requires advanced techniques to fix. If it's just mildly twisted, you can go with it and just sharpen it and use it. However, if it's uh, severely twisted, then you better send it off to your, uh, your favorite knife smith and see if they can do anything with it. After we've checked it for twistedness, the next thing we do is we hold it, again, tipped towards us, we're reflecting light off the surface. Now, we're not going to see anything new here that we didn't see in the first three steps. However, it will confirm everything that we thought we saw. We'll see the, uh, the little idiosyncrasies in the surface of the blade as it reflects light. So, this is one of those things where you've got to do it. You just can't learn about this on a, on, a, on a videotape. So, get out there and get your knives and look at them this way this way, this way, this way, and that way. And once you've done that with 20 different knives, you're going to start to see some patterns and your eyes are going to start, you're going to exercise those little muscles in your eyes that are going to pick up on what a bent blade looks like, what a twisted blade looks like, or even a compound bent blade where it's kind of bent in one place and then bent the opposite way somewhere else and maybe having a little twist in it as well. So you got to gain that by experience. The three finger test of edge sharpness and checking for blades straightness are gain, skills gained with experience. But anyone who I've ever taught them to, who's done it 30 or 40 times, has all, all of them have picked up on all the little fine points that you need to, so you can do it too.